Ciao Popere Lega Nerd, sono a Milano, alla fabbrica del vapore di Milano, dove dal 12 maggio fino al 9 settembre potete venire a vedere la meravigliosa Harry Potter Exhibition, appunto questa expo dedicata al mondo di Harry Potter, dove è stata tutta ricostruita a Hogwarts, ma non solo, anche un po' i dintorni di Hogwarts, con i props originali, quindi gli oggetti originali di scena, i costumi di scena. E parlando di costumi, oggi sono qui per un motivo particolare, in quanto si terrà una gara cosplay. I costumi più belli verranno tutti giudicati proprio dalla costumista di Harry Potter, ovvero Jenny The Mim. Jenny ha lavorato su Harry Potter dal terzo, il prigioniero di Azkaban, per la regia di Alfonso Cuaron, continuando poi fino alla fine ed è una costumista molto conosciuta perché poi ha anche lavorato sugli ultimi James Bond, Skyfall e Spectre e anche su Gravity e Passengers. Abbiamo fatto quattro chiacchiere con Jenny, gli abbiamo chiesto un po' del suo lavoro soprattutto riguardante Harry Potter ma anche qualcosa su James Bond quindi se siete curiosi di scoprire e di sapere quello che mi ha raccontato io vi consiglio di restare con me e soprattutto ricordatevi dal 12 maggio al 9 settembre se volete Harry Potter Exhibition qui a Milano Fabbrica del Vapore I'm quite proud to have to judge this contest. Uh, it's uh, because it's, uh, you know, it's judging my costumes again, 10 years later, worn by people who made the effort to redesign them and, I, and made it for them. So I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, I want to see what they came up with because my experience of Orlando was so funny and so interesting. So I, I really cannot wait to see it. Uh, what I, I think that, If I have an advice to give them is to be true to Harry Potter, of course, but also to be true to themselves. If they could make the effort to adapt the costume to their personality, of course they want to be Hermione, of course they want to be Harry Potter or whoever they want to be, but I think they should make it uh, a little bit their own costume and adapt it to their personality. You are now a famous and important costume designer, but um, how did you first become interested in uh, costume design? I was always interested in costume design. <laughs> From my four years old, I was putting my dolls in costumes and let them play together in different costumes. That's all what I ever wanted to do. Do you remember your first job, uh, the, the feeling of your first job? Yeah, I felt that I was home. And I was assistant designer and I felt that I could do better than the designer. So I thought I better try myself. What is the process from beginning, middle to end, and how you design clothes for a character? How you start designing a costume um, is always, um, it's, it's a very long process. You have to understand the character. You have to understand what the director mm -hmm. wants to tell you, wants to tell. You have to understand the story that he wants to tell and then what's the position of that character in that story because clothes costumes clothes have a very strong impact and that's the first thing that the spectator sitting in a cinema will see and your the impact that your costume will make will tell a little story in the big story so you have to get that This year is an important year for Harry Potter, he, he turns 20. And uh, Harry Potter is uh, like a religion, like uh, Star Wars of uh, the Lord of the Rings. How did the Harry Potter opportunity come about in uh, your life? I always liked Harry Potter. I was <laughs> always a Harry Potter fan. I read the first book, I loved it. The second book, I loved it. And then when Alfonso Cuaron started uh, directed the third one, he asked me uh, to, to design it and I was so happy. I think that it was one of the most beautiful days of my life because it is exactly, because I knew that I will, I will bring something, I mean I, I really felt that uh, I was chosen for the right reason. And how was it working on the process of creating uh, of uh, Harry Potter clothes? It was fantastic because we had such a great creativity. We, had a, we were all working in a studio together 
and of course we were successful but we didn't know that we would become any story like that we were quite everything was quite spontaneous and quite uh, um, small we were not like that you know we didn't know that we will be such a tremendous momentum in the history of cinema we were just doing a good job so i think that the kept us fresh and spontaneous. And what is your favorite quote on uh, Harry Potter? It's so hard to say that, you know. It's like when you are, when you ask to choose which which child you prefer. I don't know. I mean I very they, they are well yes, I like <laughs> I like very much her dress because I remember that it was it's associated to a great moment when we saw her for the first time. It was the first time that we saw her in something else than a pair of jeans and uh, and the whole crew was watching her, the whole crew was looking at her, and she appears, and, 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 and the boys were looking. It was such a sweet moment, and I think maybe that's why I like that dress so much. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. 42.